Now this is John chapter 4. When Jesus knew that the Pharisees heard he was making and baptizing more disciples than John, though Jesus himself was not baptizing, but his disciples were, <clears throat> he left Judea and went again to Galilee. He had to travel through Samaria, so he came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the property that Jacob had given his son Joseph. <clears throat> Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, worn out from his journey, sat down at the well. It was about six in the evening. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Give me a drink, Jesus said to her, for his disciples had gone into town to buy food. How is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink? For me, a Samaritan woman, <clears throat> she asked him, for Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered, If you knew the gift of God and who was saying to you, Give me a drink, you should ask him, and he would give you living water. Sir, said the woman, you don't even have a bucket, and the well is deep. So where do you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Jacob, are you? He gave us this well and drank from it himself, as did the sons, his sons and livestock. Jesus said, everyone who drinks from this water will get thirsty again, but whoever drinks from this water or drinks from the water that I get will give him will never get thirsty again, ever. In fact, the water I will give him will become a well of water springing up within him for eternal life. Sir, the woman said to him, give me the, this water so I won't get thirsty and come here to draw water. Go call your husband he told her and come back here i don't have a husband she answered you have correctly said i don't have a husband jesus said for you've had five husbands and the man you now have is not your husband what you have said is true sir the woman replied i see that you are a prophet i love she didn't take offense or <laughs> she's just amazed like oh okay well this dude knows what he's talking about that is the fact Praise be to God. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, yet you Jews say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus told her, Believe me, woman, an hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know because salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Hallelujah and amen. Yes, the Father wants such people to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. I love in the CJB translation it says spiritually and truly worship him. The woman said to him, I know that the, that Messiah is coming who is called Christ. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. I am he, Jesus told her, the one speaking to you. Just then his disciples arrived and they were amazed that he was talking with the woman. Yet no one said, what do you want? Or why are you talking with her? There was no judgment. They were just amazed. Then the woman left her water jar, went into town and told the men, come, see a man who told me everything I did. I loved how she just stopped what she was doing and went and told everybody. Glory be to God for her. Could, <clears throat> excuse me, could this be the Messiah? They left the town and made their way to him. Go see for him themselves. I love it. In the meantime, the disciples kept urging him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said, I have food to eat that you don't know about. The disciples said to one another, Could someone have brought him something to eat? My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Jesus told them, Don't you say there are still four more months then comes the harvest? Listen to what I'm telling you. Open your eyes and look at the fields, for they are ready for harvest. The reaper is already receiving pay and gathering fruit for eternal life, so the sower and reaper can rejoice together. For in this case, the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap what you didn't labor for. Others have labored and you have benefited from their labor. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of that woman said, when she testified, he told me everything I ever did. Therefore, when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them. 
and he stayed there two days. Many more believed because of what he said. And they told the woman, we no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard ourselves and know that this really is the Savior of the world. After two days, he left there for Galilee. Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. When, or when they entered Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him because they had seen everything he did in Jerusalem during the festival, for they also had gone to the festival. Then he went again to Cana of Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. There was a certain royal official whose son was ill at Capernaum, and when this man heard that Jesus had come from Judea into Galilee, he went to him and pleaded to him, with him to come down and heal his son, for he was about to die. Jesus told him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Sir, the official said to him, come down before my boy dies. Go, Jesus told him, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and departed. While he was still going to ta going down, his slaves met him, saying that this his boy was alive. He asked them at what time he got better. Yesterday at seven in the morning, the fever left him, they answered. The father realized this was the very hour at which Jesus had told him, your son will live. Then he himself believed along with his whole household. This, therefore, was the second sign Jesus performed after he came from Judea and Galilee. Jesus loves you and I love you and God bless you.